What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are upgrading my suspension front and back. I'm really excited, can't wait. So let's have a look at the new parts that I got and then we'll get right into the install. All right, so for the front, I got these Elka coilovers. Uh, here's the part number. I will link everything in the description below as well. Um, but yeah, I'm especially excited for these. These are made in Canada, they're high quality and I've heard nothing but good things about them. They should give me the perfect amount of lift. So really excited for those. And for the rear, I got these Bilstein 5100s. Uh, there's the part number there. I will link this as well. But yeah, Bilstein 5100s, these are actually for a 4th gen 4Runner for, I believe, up to 2 inches of lift. Um, but you can use 4th gen rear shocks for the 3rd gen and gives you an extra roughly 1 inch of lift. So those should work out really good. And those are going to be paired with some Dobinson Land Cruiser front springs. I don't know the exact model of these springs because I bought them used from a friend um, and then I ended up just getting it freshly powder coated. That's why they look so nice and shiny. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into the install. So this was my old suspension here. It was just the regular third gen 4Runner uh, Bilstein 5100s. And these are Old Man Emu uh, 881 springs. And for the rear, so these are my old the Rough Country shocks. They're the N3 uh, shocks for the third gen 4Runner and something really cool happened. So when we took these out, uh, we noticed that this shock here, I'll just show you. When I compress the shock down, as you can see, it doesn't come back up. Okay, whereas this one, if I do the same thing, See, it comes back on its own. So uh, that one doesn't. And I remembered that these should have some kind of warranty on it. So long story short, I called the Rough Country. Turns out there's a three year warranty on this. I talked to them for about probably three or four minutes on the phone. They asked for my address. Next thing you know, they're sending me a brand new pair of shocks. So couldn't be happier with the Rough Country customer service and their warranty. So that was really awesome of them. And uh, these, are, these were the springs I had. These are just the Old Man Emu 891, I believe. And those are getting replaced with the nice and fresh Dobinson Land Cruiser front springs. So I wasn't able to film the install for the rear. Um, I had a friend here helping me with it. It was pretty straightforward overall. Uh, the only real thing was um, just the new Land Cruiser springs are really, really tall. So I had to drop the diff way down uh, to make them fit, but that wasn't too big of a deal. Other than that, everything else went in pretty smooth. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. So I still have a little bit of work to do, especially in the front here, um, before I can get the truck back on the road. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be seeing you soon.